Uh, good afternoon, Grant. I uh, hope you are well. Um, my question is that uh, are the players only training or praying also that other results go in their favor, like New Zealand crash out of the tournament? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, look, we're in a position that we didn't want to be. Uh, we were uh, determined at this stage of the tor tournament to be in control of our destiny, and we're not. Uh, that hurts the group, um, and uh, all we can do now is control what we can control, and that is prepare well uh, for three remaining pool games, and then uh, allow our fate to be um, hopefully uh, leaning on us uh, in terms of our semi-final hopes from there. But uh, we. We wanted to be in control, uh, we're not, and uh, that's the reality that we've faced and that's certainly hurt the group and there's been a lot of disappointment over uh, the last period of time. But um, it's a very tight group and pleased to say that um, you know, we're really looking forward to uh, another opportunity tomorrow. Uh, Grant, uh, before this tournament, Pakistan was one of the favourites. Then what went wrong with Pakistani team? Uh, look, uh, I'm not sure where you get favourites from um, because there's uh, 10 teams in this tournament. There's 150 cricketers uh, who are the best on the planet. And uh, in terms of the ICC rankings, uh, we know they are skewed because we don't get to play India. Uh, we don't get to play a lot of the, the uh, top nations uh, who haven't been to Pakistan of late. So. Uh, look, we were uh, number five in April. Uh, we became number one uh, recently before the tournament, and that might be uh, where you uh, term the uh, phrase favourites. But we're realistic. We, uh, we have not um, uh, been the best uh, in the world as yet, so, which highlights where we are in this tournament right now. Uh, so... Um, Look, there, we have no divine right to beat anyone in this tournament. We have to play uh, quality cricket and we have to put all three departments of our game uh, together. Uh, we are desperate to bring joy to our nation. Uh, we are desperate to make our nation very proud of this cricket team. And uh, we are also realistic in the knowledge that we haven't put all departments of our game together over the last four games. But uh, Four losses uh, does not define who we are uh, as players, uh, as coaches, or a team. So uh, we're determined now to focus on what we can control, and that is uh, putting our best on the park in these last three games, and then uh, putting, uh, leaving that to fate as to, to determine uh, the remainder of the tournament for Pakistan. Okay. How is the world environment to uh, mood at, at this point in time? How challenging it is for you and Mickey and other coaching staff to update the morale and confidence of these boys. Uh, look, the environment's great. Um, there's there's no um, uh, there's never any uh, issue in terms of the environment. We have a, a wonderful group of um, players who are very determined, as I said before, to bring joy to their nation. Um, play uh, a, a quality, exciting brand of cricket. Uh, for uh, our fans and uh, to to make our country and our families uh, proud of uh, the performances that we put on the park. So, uh, look, that, that that remains. This is a, a very tight group, um, and you know, feel free to wander down uh, towards the dressing room and watch the training today. You will see uh, a, a very good vibe. Um, we're uh, satisfied in uh, in the fact that we've prepared meticulously well for each and every game. Uh, but we're also realistic in the knowledge that we haven't put all departments of our game together and that hurts us because uh, we haven't quite met uh, the high expectations that we have of ourselves, uh, let alone our fans. So uh, we're very determined. Um, we've put, uh, we have given our fans, you know, a lot of joy and a, and a lot of um, uh, you know, pleasure, I guess, um, and you know we're very proud ourselves of the fight that we showed in the last game against South Africa. Uh, so at times during this tournament, um, you know, Sri Lanka was another good example of chasing down a record score. At times, we have provided that uh, that joy and that hope and that proud um, cricket team that uh, that our fans want to see playing a brand that uh, makes them proud. 
but we haven't put that together uh, consistently enough and we're determined to do so. Um, Grant, uh, you, you said to the other question how the number one ranking might have been a little misleading because you don't get to play India and the best teams often enough. Do you by any chance kind of feel isolated and left behind because uh, Pakistan boys can't even, don't even play IPL which is like the best team in the league. So do you feel isolated and left behind in terms of, you know, just intel and knowledge and getting the best competition and what's the way forward if you do? No. No, we don't feel isolated or uh, intimidated by that. Um, we, uh, at, you know, we, Mickey and I, when uh, we took over this team in April, six months ago, we recognised that uh, the team was uh, playing a gear or two below uh, where we wanted uh, the team to be playing in terms of the brand, uh, because we know the brand of cricket uh, that is uh, winning against quality teams uh, is, is a more dynamic brand than perhaps we were playing. Uh, so we set a new course in, uh, in April this year. Uh, so it hasn't been a big lead in to uh, this major tournament for us. Uh, ideally, preparation for a tournament like this starts four years ago. Uh, we started six months ago and, and changed direction in the way that we want to play the game of cricket. And, uh, and the one day, yeah, especially the one day brand. And uh, we've shown uh, some some positive signs of, uh, of that uh, of over the last six months and as I've mentioned you know, during this tournament we're very proud of some of the performances that we put on the park. It's uh, taking a little bit longer than we were hoping um, but we want to play a dynamic brand that uh, matches the challenge of the conditions we're playing in. So this tournament is, um, is foreign conditions for us. Uh, none of our players have played here before. Every venue is a new one including this one. Uh, so, um, you know, we've done our homework p uh, meticulously on our opposition, uh, on our venues that we're playing at, and uh, we're, we're prepared uh, very, very well for each and every encounter. Um, but the reality is that each and every venue is a new one for us. Um, and look, we don't feel um, uh, disadvantaged at all in terms of the knowledge, uh, the, the quality, uh, the skill. Uh, the backing that we have for the, this team of cricketers. Um, we've been consistent with our selection. Uh, we've um, backed our players and we still back our players to, uh, to perform and show the brand of cricket that we want to play that um, matches um, the, uh, the task at hand and also where the best in the world are. And we've acknowledged over the, over the past period of time that uh, we're not uh, at that level uh, that we want to be, but we're certainly pushing hard uh, to improve uh, our brand of cricket because we know that the skills are within our players. Hi Grant, I'm Dhiman, I work for the Hindustan Times newspaper. Uh, does this, does the very, um, well how do I say, does this loss against South Africa, which was really, really close, in a competition where not much has gone right for you guys, does that make it even harder for you going into a game like this? A win there, you could have gone there with your, you know, with greater motivation and stuff. Does that make it a little harder going into tomorrow's game? Oh, yeah, yeah, as I mentioned at the start, there was a lot of hurt um, in the camp, um, particularly after the South African game. Or, you know, Chennai was uh, is a difficult um, venue to assess conditions, as you all know, uh, all well know. Um, we felt we, we assessed the conditions uh, well. Uh, but in the South African game, we, we acknowledge and we, we've had a... Um, our skills meeting this morning and part of our skills meeting is that we reflect on the good and bad uh, and uh, you know part of the admission uh, for us is that we didn't have um, our batsmen going quite deep enough in that innings and we probably left 20 to 30 runs uh, out in the middle and uh, certainly 310 to 315 I think in that game uh, would have been sufficient to bring that game uh, to a W for Pakistan. Um, but it doesn't take away the fact that we're hugely proud uh, of the way particularly the uh, pace bowlers performed, uh, the courage that they showed uh, to take uh, wickets throughout the middle phase of that uh, chase. And, uh, you know, we have eight to ten uh, key performance indicators um, that break down the whole performance. And um, uh, in, in that game, you know, we... Uh, 
you know, were particularly hurting because we know that uh, we actually dominated the opposition in a number of those areas. Uh, the one area that is key for us, we try and um, you know, we try and have one of our top four batsmen going through into the 40th over. We didn't do that, and uh, we uh, have consistently, I guess, throughout our, our batting performance, um, when we were uh, dominating the first two games, uh, we had batsmen going through into that phase, uh, that latter phase, and putting big scores on the board. Uh, over the last four games, we've had batsmen that have got in and haven't gone on. And, uh, you know, those are some of the basics of the cricket that you, you all know so well uh, that are vitally important for us too. So, you know, we're, we've got faith in our, uh, uh, in our lineup and our players. And uh, we certainly look at every performance, um, whether it's a win or a loss, you know, good and bad. We, we critique every performance and we try and uh, grab the learnings and keep growing and continually improve. You know, that's our mantra. And while it's, it was bitterly disappointing not to get over the line against South Africa, we thought we'd done enough uh, to get over the line. Um, we didn't. You know, and, um, you know, the key thing for us over the last few days is uh, to continually learn from those experiences, good and bad, and continually grow from those experiences. And I'm pleased to say that, you know, um, we arrive at training today after a very good skills meeting, um, uh, skills meetings uh, this morning uh, with a real determination to uh, grow from uh, that, that performance. You know, uh, we don't want to dwell too much on the past. Um, we're, we're very much uh, looking forward. Um, we know Bangladesh very well. Uh, we've played them in the Asia Cup. We've played them before. Uh, as I said, this is a new venue for us, but we, you know, we've done our homework and we're very much looking forward uh, to, um, to putting our best on the park over these next three games. <coughs> Yeah, hi, uh, Sandeep here. Uh, I have uh, a two-fold question. First of all, uh, uh, you were beaten by India in the first half of the tournament. So do you think that uh, that loss uh, brought the morale of the team down? And the second one is Bangladesh is already out of the contention uh, of the last four. So at this point of time, they have nothing to lose. So uh, how difficult is it to play uh, a team like uh, them uh, in this stage of the uh, tournament? Yeah, Sandy, I'll deal with the first um, question first, and uh, the answer is definitely no. Um, you know, the, that was a, a performance that uh, in uh, Ahmedabad, which was um, uh, a, a huge experience for uh, for all of our players, uh, having never played at that venue before, and uh, the unusual experience of playing in front of 130,000 uh, supporters of the opposition um, was a was a huge experience and and ultimately a good experience for our for our boys. Um, we were bitterly disappointed with uh, the process. You know, I've, I've spoken about the the key performance indicators. We break down a a performance into certain areas of batting and bowling. When we do these things, we generally win our games. And uh, one of the things that we didn't do was. Um, was take the innings deep. You know, we started w very well in Ahmedabad, and uh, we obviously didn't uh, have our top order going through, uh, through to the latter, you know, uh, stages of that innings to really put a competitive total on the board. Um, you know, we um, we fought hard with the ball and in the field, but we uh, ultimately we didn't have enough uh, to win that game. But we reflected on that as we always do. Uh, we isolated the performance where, or the part of the performance that we didn't do well enough, and uh, and we've trained that and uh, we brought that to the fore. So we've grown from that experience. So we're we're not dwelling on that. Um, look, we haven't got on a roll uh, in in this tournament, and uh, we understand that it's fine lines here in, in Indian conditions, and particularly, I would say, with our bowlers. You know. Um, we're renowned for having a fantastic group of fast bowlers, uh, both here and at home. Uh, we have a, you know, a great resource of, of fast bowling talent in Pakistan. Uh, we do rely on swing, uh, which uh, we haven't um, experienced too much swing here. Uh, the balls are different, the conditions are different, and uh, it's certainly um, the ball tends to wear a lot uh, quicker. Uh, here, so you know we're learning that on the fly as well. So therefore, uh, our lines have been different um, that we've been bowling, and uh, we haven't put as no enough uh, balls in uh, good areas really to create the pressure that we want and to take the wickets and the power play especially uh, that uh, that we want to want to do. 
Um, now that's a long answer, and I've forgotten your second part now. Last <laughs> question. Ah, sorry. Uh, yeah, Bangladesh. Um, look, as I said right at the start, there's uh, 10 um, quality teams here at this tournament. We don't have a divine right to beat any of them. Uh, we know that uh, to beat any team, uh, we need to play well, and we know that when, when we can put three parts of our game together, we can beat any team in this tournament. So we respect Bangladesh hugely. Uh, they're, they're a quality group of cricketers. Uh, we've had a good look at um, where we believe we can exploit their uh, potential weaknesses and we know where their strengths are. So we're prepared well for Bangladesh. Um, look, you know, we're, we're focused uh, very much um, on looking in the mirror as well and making sure that we're um, putting uh, our very best performance together uh, that we can. <coughs> No, uh, it's uh, you know the simple answer to that is that look we uh, we try and focus on the things that we can control and uh, look we've got a um, you know the, the umpires control the game um, and uh, look those those things are uh, unfortunate for us um, that um, you know uh, but that but that's that's part of the game you know part of the game so um, we don't control that so we don't tend to worry too much about that. Uh, we, we tend to look more in the mirror and referring to the South African game, uh, you know, we, we've isolated uh, the area of the game that we didn't quite do well enough. And uh, that was the last five overs. Uh, we scored 11 runs. Um, the last five overs we needed to score 25 to 30 runs and we probably would have brought that game to a close earlier. So um, those are the things that we focus on, the things within our control. And uh, in terms of uh, the noise around the team, look, playing for Pakistan and, and working within this team uh, is a huge privilege and it's, um, there's great expectation always and understandably. Uh, there's always um, lots of noise uh, from outside, lots of fans that have an opinion and uh, we, we, we look at that as a good thing um, and it just shows that they care. And uh, we're desperate to uh, make our nation proud and we're desperate to show them a brand of cricket um, that they can be proud of and uh, bring joy and hope uh, to the nation. And that's all we can control. So um, we're very much focused, players and staff, on uh, staying tight, staying true to our own values that we've set and uh, keep striving to the standards that we've set ourselves, uh, let alone uh, the standards that our fans expect of us. So uh, there's only certain things that we can control and that's very much within our focus.